But you know what? We need to honor God in everything we do, in every area of our life, even the way we eat, the way we dress, the way we talk, the way we walk. The Bible says, let every body that names the name of Jesus or that's involved with Jesus, in other words, that Jesus is their Lord, let them depart from evil. Let them walk as he walked. Praise God. Hallelujah. And how many knows we could all use a little more in our love walk? Absolutely. I could. I'm the first to admit it. I could use a little more in my love walk. And we're working on that. Praise God. Because you know what? The Bible says that now there's something that never fails. And if you knew there was something that was surefire and never failed, wouldn't you want to know what it is and practice it? The Bible says love never fails. Love never fails. Praise God. Amen. And we know, we know that we've passed from death unto life. Because we love our brothers, our brethren. No, we've passed from death unto life. It says, if you can't love your brother whom you have seen, how can you love God whom you have not seen? And also, the Bible says, it reminds me, it says a servant of the Lord, 2 Timothy, no, yeah, 2 Timothy, I think it's chapter 2, along about 23, 24, 25. It says a servant of the Lord must not strive or must not quarrel, but be teachers gently, teaching those who oppose them, teaching, praise God. Because the Bible says that uh, a brother offended is harder to be one than a strong city. Offended. And, and the Bible says, and I don't know why I'm saying all this, but the Bible says <laughs> that, you know, offenses will come, but woe to them whereby they come. And, you know, as Christians... We're supposed to be quick to repent and quick to forgive. You know, if we've offended somebody or something like that, be quick to ask forgiveness. And we're supposed to not be easily offended. Because, see, Paul referred to us as dead people, dead to the flesh. Well, you know, if you're really, if you're really, if the old man has died... If you're a new creature in Christ and that old man is dead to sin and alive under Christ, then you know what? You could go up and you could kick a dead person. You could slap them. You could punch them in the face. You could curse them out, you know, and they wouldn't move. It wouldn't move them. It would not move them. They wouldn't respond at all. They would not respond to you, a dead person. Think about it. Are we dead in Christ? Our old man, is he dead? Praise God. That's something to think about. Yeah, absolutely. Me too, ouch. Praise God. Something to think about just some practical practical things that Paul taught us how to live and, and Proverbs teaches us a lot of good things too and by the way there's a proverb for every day of the month every day of the month and it's good to read it in different translations too and just pull the pull the true meaning and the true sense of uh, intent out of it, praise God. Let the Holy Spirit speak to you. And he'll reveal the scriptures to you. 